So, um, welcome to the tutorial. Uh, it's just basically going to be a general development of everything here. So, first off, what you want to start off with doing is you want to create a file. You want to click a new repository. Obviously, after you downloaded GitHub Desktop and everything. So, what you want to do here is you want to name your repository with whatever repository name you feel like is necessary. In this case, I'm just going to go Dinosaur for my newest game that we are creating in our class. And then, what I recommend is you click Initialize this repository with a README file. And for the local path, I recommend you click choose and then you decide on where you want it to be at. In this case, I'm, my file is in this PC under documents under GitHub. So I want to select this folder and you want to click create repository. And then you just got to wait for it to finish. So once it's finished, I recommend you click publish repository first and you recommend you keep this code private. Make sure the name is all good and you can add it, make sure you add a good description of whatever this sort of repository is going to be for. In my case, it's going to be Dinosaur Game. And then I'm going to click Publish Repository for this. Okay, there we go. And then you want to come over to GDevelop. Um, you generally want to click Home, and then you want to click Create a Project. From here, you want to name your project name. Obviously, you can select whichever kind of thing you want here, but I'm just going to generally go for Desktop Full HD. It's just my own preference. So from here, you want to click project name and you want to name it whatever you feel like you need the name to be. So in this case, I'm going to name my dinosaur. It's going to be stored on my computer. Make sure it's not on the cloud, it's on your computer. And you want to choose your file for it to be the correct file that you are using. In this case, I chose to name my GitHub file dinosaur. So I'm going to select dinosaur and I'm going to save my information onto dinosaur from GDevelop. So once you click, so after that, you want to click create project. And then, you know, you're going to do all your usual project things, like you're going to create a sprite, you're going to name it, like, main character. You're going to add your animation, or I can just name it new sprite. You know, you're always going to add your casual animations and everything like that. You're going to hit apply. Obviously, you're going to want your animation to be everywhere here, you know, just casually. And then watch. So what the next thing you want to do is you want to click on project manager. You want to click on properties. You're going to scroll down generally. And what I recommend you do is change single file default to multiple files because that is going to save you so much time and effort on changing many different things. And then I recommend you add a game description too. In this case, mine's going to be dinosaur hunting game. And then you can also select authors within this project. So when you publish it, you'll have authors. In this case, I'm going to select my own name and then, you know, whoever else is working the project with you. So after this, you want to hit apply so you can apply all of those things you just changed. And then you want to come up here to the three lines here. You want to hover over file and you want to click save. So after you've clicked saved, obviously everything in your project is saved now. And when you make any sort of changes, you want to re-hit save up here. And then once you go back to GitHub Desktop, you'll notice that everything here is separated, like all of your information here, and it's also ready to be pushed onto GitHub. So what I, why I recommended you go to the properties and change this from single file to multiple files is because, as you see here, it automatically created me an assets folder and put my image in it, and it created me a layout folder to put my um, general GDevelop game into, my first scene of GDevelop into. So, after all of this is done and you've gotten to this point, what you want to do is you want to go to summary and you want to name it like something that will generally be a general description of what you did. In this case, I created this as the first thing. And then for the description, you want to generally add on details like um, what this is about. So in this case, I made new sprite number one. And I also created the first scene of this file. So you want to, generally speaking, do all of this stuff so that when you read over it later, you understand what you did in every single commit you did. Because that will save you so much time on any kind of troubleshooting or anything like that. And then after you finish all this, if you want to, you can read over all this. And you can click Commit to Main. So after you click commit to main, it's going to save it locally. So what you want to do if you want to push it onto the um, origin so then other people in your group can download it, you click to push origin right here. 
So, say in the case that your group has updated the game for a lot and you haven't caught up on it. What you want to do is you can click fetch origin and then it will load and fetch anything that's on the like website, like on the GitHub page. In this case, because I didn't have anything, fetch origin doesn't do anything. Um, another case you can do is if you come over here, if you are copying the branch and you're one of the people that are invited, you want to click file, you want to click clone repository, go to URL, and then you want to come over to your GitHub here. So over here, do you want to click on code? You want to go to HTTPS, this one right here. You can either click open with GitHub desktop, which will work, and it will open it with GitHub desktop, or if you want to, you can click copy this right here. So this is the web URL for this, and you want to paste it into here. So in this case, the folder I'm trying to copy this into already contains files, but it can only clone to an empty folder. So I would want to open this. I would create the folder, and I'll name it something simple like Dinosaur2. So after I have selected my GitHub folder into Dinosaur2, I can select the folder Dinosaur2, and then I can clone. There we go. And now I should have every single file into here like I did the other one. Like seeing here, I have my initial commit with everything like the readme and the get attributes, which uh, is what I added on when I clicked add on a readme file. And then I have my first commit, which is the temporary JSON, the new sprite, and the untitled scene. And as you can see here, it'll keep all your documentation right here. So you can read this whenever you need to. And this is your history log. So everything that anyone publishes will all be right here for you to check out. Anyways, thank you very much for listening. That is basically all I have to teach you.